this music. This is so funny. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 7 of Fellow Travelers. In the last episode, we really focused on Tim and Hawk's story in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Um, focusing on Hawk's family as well. Yes, we got to know the son in particular. Tim actually spent a lot of time with the son. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out that he's a poet and we have this suspicion that he might also be gay. And then our question was, you know, is he still alive in the 80s? Yeah. Um, and then ultimately at the end we see Tim going to prison. So let's wrap right in. Let's go. Let's go. 78. Ten years. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Mm, Harvey Milk. Today, the jury in the trial of former Supervisor Dan White enters their third day of deliberation. Frankie! Dan White was suffering from depression, aggravated by the consumption <laughs> of sugary drinks and snacks like Twinkies. White, a former city of San Francisco... What? Depression caused by sugary, sugary drinks, drinks and... and that's why he killed someone? ...because I ate too much sugar. Tim. I need you here. Not chasing after your long lost whatever he is to you. He's been through a tragedy. Well, the tragedy is you. Holding on to him. Interesting. I feel like we need episode 6.5. This is jumping too quick. Both my parents there, but one of them is here and one of them is drinking. Is that Kimberly? I'm assuming. Someone named Kim Laughlin? Oh my god, no. She's gonna be She's like. thinking. This one again. All this time later and. Lucy, I mean, what's her name? The actress is also just doing an incredible job. This is late, but I want to say I'm sorry for your loss. I sent a card. We got it. Thank you. And thanks for the call. Hawk, been in touch. This is crazy. Are you there? Two months ago, I gave Hawk an ultimatum. Do something about his drinking or find somewhere else to live. He's on Fire Island having fun. And soon a grandchild to care for, and I can barely. <sighs> what happened? I guess the, the son. son's death. He is in trouble. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is heartbreaking. Uh -oh. Oh, Hawks, babe. I was there with you. Whose hand is that? <laughs> Singing the same. That's not Tim's hand. No. Fire Island Pines. Oh, that's Tim. Oh. He's gonna walk in on him having sex with someone. Okay, thanks for the invite. <laughs> you don't look like a priest. You look more like a lumberjack. Or a lesbian. A lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Skippy. This is so breaking. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm? I don't know how I feel about this. So, how long has it been since you two have seen each other? Oh, no. Three years. Eleven. Ten. 11. Wow, they haven't seen each other for 11 years. You're from San Francisco. Did you know Milk? Yeah, everybody did. He was a deacon. Be right back, excuse me. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, 78, like, he's not the youngest anymore as well, you know? Yes, right. It's 
from your alcohol. Just drugs. Have you ever talked about Jackson? Who? His son. Doc doesn't talk about his family. Jackson died about six months ago. Oh my god. Hell no, Phil. No. Given the fact that black folks are killed every day, mm -hmm. you hardly ever hear about it. Are you reporting on that objectively or giving us a scoop? Truthfully, Dan White is a murderer. Oh. Seriously, look, look, Dan White was a Vietnam vet. Imagine serving your country as a soldier and watching your hometown get taken over by hippies and queers. Adam. What? That's where we'll leave it off. Have a great weekend. <sighs> he probably needs to like keep it together, not to say anything. Yes. Everything okay at home? Why didn't you say anything just now? Shut Adam down. Yeah. I need that paper on Monday. Curious because you're still wearing the same clothes you wore on Wednesday, and frankly, you smell. Oh no. I'm sorry, but this conversation is inappropriate. <laughs> is it though? Because you're gonna end up living with him and Frankie. Oh that's a student. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I wanna go back to the fifties. That was a lot less explosive than this. They were still being hunted. I know, but, but I, I, I can deal with, with Sheen and Cone and McCarthy more than I can deal with this. Oh, this is wow, but we kind of know already that Lucy takes him back somehow, right? Who's Tim Lofton? Oh, Tim Lofton. He's been quiet ever since he called. If you want to know about your father's relationships with Mr. Laughlin, you'll have to ask him about it. Mm. <sighs> Hawks is also just running away from his problems. Always, somehow, no? It feels like it. Assistant. Tim needs to be like, babe, I'm taking you home. You need to be with your family right now. Let's go for a run, huh? Say the island. Right. <sighs> Cute. I mean, as sad as it is, mm. but like, this is the life they should have had together, right? From the beginning. Minus the dead son. Yeah, like, he would have never had his family, right? Yeah. They, it would have just been them together, happy. Oh, Adam and Eve. <laughs> Those parts are not Adam and sure. Adam. Adam and Adam. <laughs> Tim looks beautiful with that mustache and the hair. All right, this we're not showing on YouTube for <laughs> obvious reasons. Where are you? Because you're not here. What's a cute tank top? I love everything about him. His look, his energy. I'm worried about one of my students. Called out today for admiring your pal Harvey. Don't talk about Harvey like he's And I Adam. didn't do anything about it. And I think he's homeless on top of it. Well, why didn't you help him? To keep my job. To work at a state university. God, so typical. What do you want from me? That's a good question. <laughs> Let me know when you have an answer. <sighs> Marcus oh also. God. It feels like they're always the same. It's always right? the same. Yeah. 
Marcus can't stand up for his gayness, it seems. Never, ever. It's like always, oh, I need to keep my job. I need to do this. And it's always just keeping mm-hmm. that facade alive. Dude. How is your family? Mm. How is your family? I'm not good for them. That is true. Now you just need to go back home and apologize to her. Forgive me. And just stop. Boy, you miss so much. You don't have to keep missing it. Is that him leaving his family? Maybe. Sounds a little bit like it, yeah. you know? I'm staying somewhere. Hmm. But his name is Arthur. He's a poet. You're laughing at me. Mm-mm. Really? You're laughing. No. <laughs> what is his business you want to talk about? <clears throat> Hawk, I know you. Now. Hawk is also giving me the ache. Right? He went from super hot to... Ugh. What do you want? Yeah. It's just he's like escaping reality and yeah. pretending suddenly that... Everything he's is okay. living this life, and he could have had this life all along, you yeah. know. The in your name. You want a what? You do. But we could meet up a few times a year. No. Make up for lost time. No, he just said no. He has someone. I doubt you have assets, so someday this house will be yours. This house? Mm. Don't be so dramatic. I'm, I'm, you I'm gonna have give a you family. something. Yes. They don't need this place. Oh my god. Oh my god, you want to hide this house from them. The wife said she doesn't know where you are. You talk to him. Skippy, I need you. Did you talk what to you my wife? What do you want if I on a piece of paper to protect your secrets? Stay and when are we going to talk about Jackson? No, you don't. You don't. You are nothing but judgment. You always were. He's not judging you. You're fucking holy. He wants to help he's you. Just, no, but he's how, holding you accountable. He doesn't want to be held accountable. He doesn't want that. Come, considering what a fucking self-righteous bore you've turned into. Oh my god. Pictures. Ah, what is he doing? Oh no. Oh, come on. Pictures. Is he gonna decide to stay now or what? Hmm. He should have just left. They're gonna seduce him now, wait for it. They're gonna throw him into the pool. I love him in that shirt. What's he doing? Oh no. Why is he doing that now? Is he doing it on purpose? Just to show off Craig? This I don't understand. I think he's doing it on purpose. Because he's jealous. Skippy is jealous. So instead of the other guy, he's gonna start taking care of Hawk. Oh well. Give us a show. Are they gonna have a threesome? They will have a sum sum <laughs> with a lot more than just three. Oh no. See, I thought it's just gonna be a thing at the at the pool, but it's like How did he fall for it so quickly? What happened to Arthur the poet? Ugh. Oh. No, I'm also just a little uh, disappointed in Skippy. Oh, Craig is jealous. Obviously, also we don't know. Like, I don't think this is the first time he's taking drugs, you know? Him living in San Francisco. And oh, he's done like... it before. He said it last time. Yeah. But now, why do you... he suddenly decided to stay, you know? Especially after that uh, conversation they had in, uh, last evening, no? Um... Hmm. See, jealous. Is he gonna find like an old letter or something? Maybe I'll find the book. Oh, look, it's locked. 
Hmm. It's locked. Is that his old desk? <laughs> what is that? Can I help you? I am. Can I talk to someone? He's gonna run into. We're a non-profit agency providing services primarily for the gay and lesbian community. I'm sorry, I have to go. I want to talk to someone now. He's gonna talk to Frankie. Wait. Hmm. I'll try. Hmm. What's happening with him? I want to say, guys, people have gone home. This looks mm. empty. Time to go home and sleep, and you need to pack and go back to Arthur. Where's um? What's happening? Yeah, what is happening? Where's the hawk? Exactly. These three are talking. He said, "What? Something happened either to Hawk or to the other guy." Why are they crying? Huh? Oh, maybe that's why they're crying because of this verdict. Oh, he's gonna find him here. There he is, the student. Mm. What are you doing here? I came to walk you home. I'm going downtown with everybody else. Tomorrow is Harvey's birthday. Happy birthday, Harvey. Wait, 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 wait. Open your eyes. This fight is for fights. Don't get messed up with this shit. They're not worth it. <gasps> there. Like, he's not part of the community, you know? He's like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> he's also disappointed in him, you know? This is explosive. Have they just left him in the club? <sighs> he left me in the club. <laughs> Craig said you went home or something. That's a lie. It's a lie. Bitch. <laughs> no. No. Guys, please. Hmm. No. Hog is like, I have you both now. No, this is not the one. Skippy, where's Arthur? He should have just left. <laughs> Skippy's like, like, no, I don't you, want to. Right? You, my God, that's the no, one. I I I I Tim's like, no, I don't want to. But then he's like, okay. Dude. Okay. That's an invite. <laughs> Skippy, time to skip. Out of here. In my head, Skippy was going to take him home to Lucy and be like, hey babes, I got your husband back. But no. Oh, yeah. Hope's back in control with his little spell. He's gonna get hard for Skippy. Craig needs to say thank you to Skippy for this. <sighs> it's sad because like probably deep down Skippy's heart is just breaking. Right? Oh no, the picture. Oh. oh. What'd you do? I wanted to see him. Stop it! I will fucking kill Stop you! It. Stop it! Stop it! Nothing! Let me die. <laughs> Please let me die. No, Hawk. Please don't. 
just so What is happening to Frankie as well? He needs to be careful, yeah. He needs to be careful. Whiskey, straight. Where's Frankie? separate at City Hall. So, I just told him, okay? If my mom hadn't stood between us, I think he would have killed me. Oh, bless him. I wanted to tell my dad before he died, but I couldn't. Well, that answers that. Mm -hmm. They never had that conversation. But I've loved a man for 20 years and lived with the consequences. Do you have any idea how much fucking courage that Oh, wow. Why are they going after these people that are just sitting in the bar? Exactly. Like, wild. That is crazy. The like, they weren't doing anything. That is crazy, but this is just standard cop behavior. Oh, he's attacking a cop. I mean, he's just defending himself. He's protecting but... him at this point. It's just crazy. This is crazy, but it's literally just like that. It's never changed. It always has been like this, no? did what women of my generation were taught to do. I closed my eyes to things I didn't want to see. I always saw that Jack couldn't see me. I still was a boy. Here we go again. You know, if the boy was a boy, I'd like to name him Jack. Is that all right? Love. <sighs> Therapy, methadone, AA for addicts. You know, I can stay clean, get excited about his music, his writing, his future. And then he disappeared again. Come back sick, sorry, promising to stop. Did you love him? So much from that love is real. Your wife, our daughter, both of you. Yes, it's time to go home and talk. You have to stop trying to kill yourself. Oh, well. Dirty cop. Took off their badges. They just came to break heads. You're beautiful. Oh, I think it's hard now. To Harvey. To Harvey. Harvey. To Harvey. To Harvey. To Harvey. Angry gays attacking City Hall and setting police cars. <laughs> Angry gays. <laughs> gays. I see myself in them sometimes. <laughs> I'm an angry gay from time to time. What are they doing now? <sighs> Disappointed. He hasn't learned anything. Where are you going? It meant nothing to you. Why can I not stop believing anything you say? If this is what you want, fine. Your wife and your daughter have already buried a son and a brother, and they're gonna have to bury you. But you don't care because you're so fucking selfish. I've wasted all this time. <sighs> Skippy. My life and you. No, 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 no. no. Please. I'm done no. with you. <sighs> oh, this will destroy him. 
When he said brother, I meant mm. I, th I thought it, it meant Lucy's brother. Oh, yeah, that's what he meant, no? Did he? I think he meant son and brother oh, because go. it's Lucy's son and it's Kimberly's brother, no? No, I, th I think he means Lucy's brother. Damn, what's going on? This is too much. Mm. I think nice. this was the wake up call he needed, right? Yeah. <sighs> this is a heavy episode, huh? I'm not gonna mm. lie. Uh, I'm glad that Marcus found his balls. <laughs> oh, part no. of it. Part of it for one night. Oh, Skippy's over here. Skippy's back. Yeah. What's he doing? Who's he calling? Um. Probably. Daddy. Hi. Hi. I'm coming home. Good. About damn time. Chop chop. Okay. Okay. We have a lot to talk about. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> What are we mourning? Mm. Oh, the acting is incredible. How is he just... They're all so good. Oh, we're back oh, in the 80s. Yeah, I was just going to say. That's Tim's flat, no? Mm-hmm. Oh, he kept the car. Tim has had another seizure. Oh no. They made help out of it. He was severe, but they were able to pull him out of it. Thank you. It's getting worse and worse. Okay. I like this episode. No, it's 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 heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Do you need a minute? Okay, what do you think? <laughs> um, yeah, heavy, heavy episodes. Um, another time skip. Well, it's we're in the late, late 70s now. And 78, right? Yeah. And we found out what we kind of suspected already in the last episode, yes. right? That Jackson is not alive. He's not alive anymore. Um, and it's it's just really sad because obviously at the la at the end of the last episode, right? 
they had this nice moment together at the lake. At the lake. Yeah. Um. But it just shows like that was just a moment. One yeah. Moment, right? Yeah. It didn't really change anything no. in their relationship between Hawk and his son, you know. But we we don't find out a lot in the sense that like we know why he he died. Yeah. And then towards the end now when um Hawk has this conversation with Timmy at the pool, right? He talks about what they've tried, different therapies, different mm-hmm. methods, whatever, whatever. And then, he, you know, he said, oh, he kept coming back. He was all right. He was excited about his writing, about his mu- music. But then he would bounce back into it, right? Yeah. But we don't know why he was bouncing, ba- bouncing back. Like, what? And then Tim says, we don't know why, why people are addicts. Mm. Um, yeah, Hawk can, suspects just... it's because of him. Because yeah. he couldn't deal with all these lies. Yeah, we can just speculate. We can speculate. You know? Like... Yes. As I said, they had this like one moment where Hawk told him like, you know, you are my son, I yeah. love you, whatever. But that, that was just one moment. And they Jason still, says, I'm they, different. Yeah, I feel like I'm but different. they still had a dysfunctional relationship. relationship. And that probably continued, Yeah. right? Um, oh yeah, then of course, probably then throughout puberty and stuff, right? Exactly. We don't it really know how old he was. Just more complicated. Yes. Um, And maybe for him it was just like growing up in this dis- dysfunctional family, right? He knew that everything is a lie. It's just a lie. Yes. Right? But nobody is really talking no. about it. No. Um, and of course, then you see the, the scene between Kimberly and Lucy, where Lucy says, she admits, you know, yeah. she knows that something was up, but she says, women of my generation were taught yeah. to zip it, you know? The kids, or I guess Jackson just couldn't handle it, just couldn't take it. Uh, that scene where they are upstairs in the bedroom, and then of course it looks like they are having a threesome, but then Hawk Hawkins sees the picture on the on the side uh, table, mm. and then loses it. That was just crazy, you know, because he completely collapses. Yeah, it just pulled him back into reality. Reality, right? Yeah. Um, and it just came all crashing yeah. down on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anything and everything he has been doing on this island mm-hmm. was just escapism, right? He's just running oh, yeah. away. Exactly. He, 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 he's running away. He, he's not strong enough to deal with reality. Um, and I guess Tim, in a way, was that anchor back to reality. But then Tim was pulled into the, mm. the island, you know, in the sense that they seduced him, right? At the pool... He's then starting to take stuff and then they have this little party and then they go dancing and it's just, yeah, wow, Tim, what are you doing? Because you were meant to actually pull him out of this, right? But eventually it's actually his son who pulls him out of it. It was a very powerful episode, I think, for so many different reasons. You know, obviously Harvey Milk, what, it was a huge moment in American mm. gay history as well. Maybe also across the world. I mean, we, we, I don't remember if we talked about it in school, actually. We didn't. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we we didn't. No, but I remember seeing the the movie. The movie, right? With Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Yes. Who played him? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we know the movie. And then just reading about, it, like afterwards, reading a little bit more about it. Yes. But never heard of it before. Mm. You know. Um, oh, you they... remember last year in the. Um... In the LGBTQ museum in King's Cross, we saw the Levi's jeans that he was wearing. Do you remember oh, the exhibition? Yes, 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 yeah, true. we saw, and we were like, oh "My God, he was so skinny. He, <laughs> was, he, he was a small man." Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but like they did a really good job in this episode. Like everything that was happening, but it was like happening like in the background with this like political situation right political violence political violence yeah but then also you see them fight back and you see frankie spearheading it and being like we are gonna be there and you see how marcus just reacts completely in character Mm. always running away 
always being in the shadows, never wanting to be seen, ne- never. And he even says it, you know, we're not part of it. Or like, we shouldn't be there with them. Yeah. Like he was never part of that. Or he, he never sees himself as part of that community. Um, and then interesting, we are being introduced to that student, Jerome, which we know eventually will live mm-hmm. with them. Um, yeah, they don't, again, they don't really show us a lot. We, it's just, we're, we just have to assume that at some point, Marcus and Frankie somehow found each other again, right? Because last we saw was in the 60s. Yes. Right? Well, the assumption here is that Marcus says that, Marcus says actually he never he never came out to his dad, yeah. right? So his dad is, has passed, which then also confirms our assumption from last episode, where we said, oh, he's probably going to live with his dad for as long as he lives. And yeah. then eventually he's going to go and find Frankie. Yeah. And in this case, Frankie waited for him. Um, and Frankie and Tim are working together, right? Mm-hmm. They're working together in this health clinic, which is also great to see because within this show, the four characters, you know, you have this one pair, which is Frankie and Tim, that mm-hmm. have the same energy, the same conviction. And then you have Marcus and Paul, oh, yeah. who are forever hiding, running away from accountability, not wanting to be uh, not wanting to be outed. Tim even said it, I'm out of the closet. Mm-hmm. Even my family knows, yeah. you know? So that was so interesting to see and powerful, right? And uh, it makes sense that Tim and uh, Frankie work together again because they have the same conviction. Yeah. A- and we also spent quite a bit of time with Lucy, right? Obviously, we're mm-hmm. seeing her grieving as well in a different way. Obviously, she's you know drinking a bit. Yeah. But then she's having she's having that very. I mean, I'm saying candid. Not really. I mean, she's having a conversation towards the end. Obviously, she's she's going through some old. What is that? Um, the projector, right? That's she's nice. yes, and then she is actually confessing to her daughter that yeah, I know. You know, your dad's. She kind of knows what's no, going on. No, she knows, on, but, you know. and she's obviously been hiding it. But eventually, she opens up to Kimberly in the sense that she's like, you know what? Yes, your yeah. dad's hiding stuff from us. But I was yeah, and, and throughout the episode, we saw it, we see the daughter obviously trying to find out a bit more about her yeah. father like who is he together. who is this tim laughlin the mm-hmm. name that keeps popping up you yeah. know yeah she finds um like a card that he has written with his and there was card. a business card so then she calls this clinic right and then she finds out okay it's like a lgbtq plus yeah. center yeah um so i think she's also like puzzling everything together and then, yeah, with with the talk at the end with her mother, I think she knows. Mm. And then, obviously, we at the end, she's talking to her dad on the phone, but only because he called. Because right? he called, yeah. And yeah. then she's like, "There's a lot we need to talk about." Exactly. Like she's not even hiding it. Yeah. She's not even beating around the bush. Um. Yeah, it's just. But that that moment was crazy, right? When. So after they have the, the threesome mm-hmm. and and then Tim and Hawk have this like really serious conversation. serious conversation. And it seems like okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. He he he's back in reality. Yeah. He knows he needs to go back to his family. Yeah. Tim says that your family needs you. And then literally the next morning he's just there. He needs a little pick me out of the line, you know? Babes. And yeah, and then Tim confronts him, and is like, like I'm literally, you didn't listen, or like you just it, it didn't you don't mean wanna... anything. Yeah, it didn't mean anything. Yeah, it didn't mean anything. I think at that point, and that applies, had... like it really applies to like their their whole relationship they ever had, you know. Because also, listen, Hawks also says it. We missed so much we missed out on so much right Th- those words are so powerful because it really just cements what we've been saying he really wanted to live his life with with tim yeah he's just had yes he loves his family he loves his kids but it was just work for him or or, or just a tool you know mm-hmm. to cover up to, to build this facade but he really wanted to live with Tim. And now he's like, you know, I now have this chance because he ran away. 
he ran away from his real life. His real life is his family. And now but he's again, like, we, you know, we miss but... out so much. We, we, we can have this amazing life together here. But it's like, no, you're running away from reality. Again, yeah, but again, it's like a fantasy, you know? It's a fantasy. Because they can't stay there on this island forever, no. you know? He can't just abandon his family, no. right? No, I mean, he can, but he can't. Yeah. 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 Interesting what he tried to do with the house, though. Yeah. Where he's like, you, you, you can have the house. And then Tim's but then confronting Tim was like, him. It's like, no, you're only doing this because you want to hide the house. Mm. But again, it's just, he will forever try to hide, to hide who he really is. Yes. And lie well, about everything and it's just deceiving, right? In a way, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's heartbreaking. I don't even know. I mean, I was in tears most of the episode, actually. It was quite heartbreaking, mm. too. And I guess it was, I guess maybe because we did connect with Jackson in, in the last episode so much, yeah. right? And it's, it's just a heartbreak just to see them all falling apart. But I have to say it again. I mean, the acting is just incredible. Matt Bomer just walking out and then just looking towards the beachfront. And then you see these people with, with those candles or whatever, mm-hmm. which looked like a morning scene. Yeah. And then you see him there with a cigarette and instantly he starts crying. I'm like, how the freaking freck is he doing it? And then I'm, I'm with you. I'm right. crying with you, babes. Yeah. That was crazy. The acting is incredible. Incredible. Uh, and I have to say, I'm glad that Timmy had a haircut. He looks a lot better this episode. <laughs> episode six, Timmy, babe. No. Yeah. Not sexy. <laughs> Not the one. Um, did we cover everything? I want to say we did cover everything. Um, Heartbreaking about Jackson, but I guess it needed to happen. Yeah, and then that one moment, like, you were a little bit confused. I think what they meant was, obviously, that Jackson has died, his son. But also lose his brother. But also lose his brother. I'm confused. So when, it, when he said that, when he said, oh, son and brother, I was like, <gasps> So did the brother, did Lucy's brother die? But then I started thinking, I was like, hold on. Is he referring to Jackson as the son and the brother? Mm-hmm. You know, because you, you could, you could say that, no? Yeah, okay. yeah. It, 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 it's almost like talking about the household. The household lost a brother and a son. Yeah. Right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. but at the same time, well, why would not... also, we haven't heard anything else about the Lucy's brother. brother, you know, so. No, that shock therapy obviously was a, was a, was a, relatively important thing and that was it episode four or episode five i think it was the episode when the father four, shot four, himself. Five, episode five. five yes um yeah and we don't see him anymore so mm. Mm. anyway we have one more episode to go yes well and then obviously we just see which was also super sad at the end tim having another seizure mm. Right, and he's just he's just like deteriorating at this point. Like he's just getting worse and worse. Yes. But I'm not looking forward to the editing when we go into editing. <laughs> We're gonna be sitting here editing and crying again in every scene. Oh my god, you guys! So sometimes when we edit and we sit here and it's so sad, we actually watch the scene and we we're watching us, of course, because we're editing both at the same time. And then it's just we're, we're bawling our eyes out. <laughs> it's crazy. Floodgates are open. Floodgates are open. <laughs> um, anyway, but you know, it's 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 in good fun. I'm saying that, but my heart's broken. <laughs> anyway, right, this was episode seven. Thank you guys for being with us. You did not lie when you said we needed tissues. I think we do need tissues next episode next because episode. this was just a bit of a mess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for being here with us again on this incredible roller coaster. It is explosive. Episode 8 will probably be the most explosive yet. We'll see. Um, If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And we will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.